uh, dear student who study in this lecture anatomy of the renal bladder and urethra, especially in male urethra. At first, we study site of the renal bladder. What is the site? At birth, it is abdominal organ. In children, it is abdominal pelvic organ. In puberty, it is completely pelvic organ. This is the site of the renal bladder. Size of the renal bladder. The renal bladder accommodate about 220 cubic centimeter of urine and maybe accommodate up to 500 cubic centimeter of urine without discomfort. This is the size of the urinary bladder. Shape of the urinary bladder, it is resembled for a sided pyramid, four-sided, four-sided pyramid, pyramid with four surfaces. This is the urinary bladder, like this. This is a superior surface, superior surface of the urinary bladder. This is posterior surface of the renal bladder, posterior surface, or base. This surface called inferior lateral, inferior lateral surface. Two inferior lateral surface, right and the left, superior surface, posterior surface, or base. And this is apex of the urinary bladder, and this is the neck of the urinary bladder. This is the neck of the urinary bladder. The neck of the urinary bladder continues with urethra. So this is urethra. So urinary bladder have four surfaces, four surfaces and four angles. The four surfaces, superior surface, posterior surface, or the base, and two inferior lateral surface. Four angles, this is the anterior angle or apex, and two posterior angle, posterior superior angle between the superior surface and the base or posterior surface and inferior angle or the neck. That is open in the lower bladder to ureter and urethra and as the apex there are what's called eurecas, which later on obliterated to form what is called the median umbilical ligament. Again, site of the urinary bladder at base is abdominal organ present in the abdominal cavity. Because why? Because the pelvis is very small at base. In the children, it becomes baby abdominal organ. At puberty, it becomes completely pelvic organ because the pelvis is large and accommodate the urinary bladder. Size, the main capacity of the urinary bladder, it accommodates up to 220 cubic centimeter of urine, but accommodate up to 500 cubic centimeter without discomfort. Shape of the bladder, four sided pyramid. Four sided pyramid. The renal bladder have four surfaces and four angles superior surface, posterior surface or base, and the two inferior lateral surface. Four angles, anterior angle or apex, inferior angle at the neck 
continue with the urethra and two posterior superior angles the posterior superior angle is the urethra open in this angle four duct is related to the angle of the bladder two ureter urethra and the neck and the urethras which become obliterated to form median umbilical ligament. <coughs> Relations of the rib bladder in male and the female. In male, suppose this is Simpson's pubis, and this is the sacrum. This is the urinary bladder present in male here. And this is a prostate. Seminal vesicle present by ampulla of both difference united with the seminal vesicle to form what's called ejaculatory duct. And this is the rectum. Proteinium descend from the abdomen and cover the superior surface, then reflected to the back of the bladder and cover the rectum and form this pouch called rectovesical pouch. Rectovesical pouch. So the superior surface covered by proteinium and the part of the posterior surface covered by proteinium. But the two inferior lateral surfaces non covered by protein. The superior surface of the renal bladder is made related to loops of a small intestine and also sigmoid colon. Sigmoid colon. This is so the relation of the superior surface in male. Loops of an ileum and the sigmoid colon. Relation of the inferior lateral surface. The inferior lateral surface related to the retropubic fat and related to the obturator internus muscle and the obturator nerve and the vessels and the elevator eni muscle. The inferior lateral surface non covered by peritoneum. The two inferior lateral surfaces meeting with each other in what is called anterior border, which is related to the back of the symphysis pubis. What is the relation of the base or the posterior surface of the bladder in males? This is the posterior surface of the base, is related to ampulla of both difference, similar vesicle, and this pouch, which is called the rectovesical pouch and rectum. This is the relation of the posterior surface of the urinary bladder. Angles of the rib bladder, the apex, apex here, related to ligament called the median umbilical ligament. It was what is called urecus in male. The neck of the urinary bladder related to the prostate. This is the relations of the urinary bladder. Relations of the urinary bladder in female. Again, this is the symphysis pubis, and this is the sacrum, this is the urinary bladder in female, this is the uterus. This is vagina, and this is the rectum. Proteinium covering, proteinium descend from the anterior abdominal wall and they cover the superior surface of the bladder. 
and reflect it to the uterus, cover the uterus, and cover upper part of the vagina, then reflect it on the rectum to cover the anterior surface of the rectum. From the peritoneum covering, there are two pouches. Pouch present here, and pouch present here. This pouch between the uterus and the bladder called uterovesical pouch. And this pouch between the rectum and the vagina called the rectovaginal pouch or Douglas pouch. Relations of the bladder in female, the superior surface related to the uterus and this pouch. Uterovesical pouch also loops of a small intestine present in this part. So, but the superior surface of the urinary bladder in female related to uterovesical pouch loops of the small intestine and the uterus. The inferior lateral surface is made. The same as the inferior surface related to obturator internus, obturator nerve, and the vessels and the levator inner muscles. The posterior surface of the urinary bladder in female different in male. The posterior surface related to the cervix and the anterior wall of the vagina, more posterior, it is related to the pouch, rectal, vaginal pouch, and the rectum. This is the relations of the aerial bladder in female. The interior or internal structure of the aerial bladder. The aerial bladder covered by mucous membrane. This is a coronal section on the aerial bladder. Ureter open here, right and the left. The mucous membrane which covers the raw bladder from the base from the, it's called the trigon. Called the trigon. Why? Because it is present between three openings, opening of the two ureter and the opening of an urethra, it's called the trigon. The trigon is derived from mesoderm, mesoderm, absorbent part of the mesonephric duct. Remember, the mucous membrane of the bladder derived from endoderm of the cloaca, which is the lower part of the gut, but the mucous membrane of the trigon derived from mesoderm. So, but in the trigon from the mesoderm, the remaining of the mucous membrane from the endoderm. Also, from the internal structure from the renal bladder, this is the renal bladder, and this is the urethra, this is the prostate, there are projections from the prostate inside of the bladder in me, this projection from the prostate it is normal, normal. This projection is called uvula, uvula vesicae, projection from the prostate, from the median loop of the prostate projected inside the bladder. In case of Prostatic enlargement, this uvula enlarged, enlarged gradually, gradually, up to close this angle, in, in, in inferior angle, and obstruct the descent of the urine, in case of prostatic enlargement. Also, from the internal structure, the mucous membrane which covers the bladder, there are elevated ridge elevated ridge here. Suppose this is a mucous membrane which covers the bladder from inside, which covers the base from inside. There are elevated 
bridge between the two inter there are elevated bridge between the two openings of the ureter called interureteric crest, interureteric A crest elevation. So the interior of the platter again, we have the two openings of the ureter and the trigon, interureteric crest, and the uvula vesicae. This is main structures or main features of the interior of the urinary bladder. The interior of the urinary bladder again, this is the interior of the urinary bladder. This is the trigon between two ureteric orifices. This is the trigon between two ureteric orifices and the opening of the urethra. This is a trigon. And this elevated region called the interureteric crest. But trigon, triangular area. In the inner aspect of the posterior surface of the base of the renal bladder, bounded by the opening of the ureter and the urethra. Interureteric orifice. Interureteric orifice. This is the two orifice of the ureter. ureter. Interureteric crest transverse ridge between two ureteric orifices. Uvula of the bladder or uvula of the psyche elevation. This elevation. Uvula of the bladder. And internal urethral meatus. Internal urethral meatus. Uh, again, this is a trigon to your. To, opening of the ureter and the, and the opening of the bladder and this elevation called level of the bladder. This in male and this in female. Ligament of the ureter bladder, median umbilical ligament at the apex, which is obliterated uracus. Lateral through ligament from the side of the platter to tendinous arch of the fascia covering the obturator internus, or posterior ligament from the lateral ridge of the base of the platter to the posterior wall, or pubo-prostatic ligament, pubo-prostatic ligament in male or pubo-vesical ligament in female, pubo-prostatic in male or pubo-vesical in female. Blood supply of the renal bladder. This is the renal bladder. Remember, internal iliac artery, the anterior division of the internal ar uh, iliac artery gives branch called umbilical artery, which gives superior vesicle, and also inferior vesicle. Superior vesicle artery, which is a branch from the umbilical artery, and in few vesical artery. In female, there are no inferior vesical artery. But superior vesical and inferior vesical arteries, especially in male. Venous drainage, the veins of the bladder form plexus of veins at the inferior lateral surface, then drain into internal iliac vein. This is a blood supply of the urinary blood. Nervous supply. Autonomic, sympathetic, and parasympathetic. It's sympathetic from last to two thoracic, T11 and T12, sympathetic, and L1 and L2. This is a sympathetic. The sympathetic inhibit the muscle of the bladder and stimulate the sphincter to prevent urination. The parasympathetic from pelvic splanchnic nerve from S234, pelvic splanchnic nerve. The parasympathetic stimulates the muscle of the bladder to contract and relax the sphincter to allow urination. This is the nervous supply of the urinary bladder. Blood supply of the urinary bladder, arterial supply, supervasical artery from Proximal patent part of the obliterated umbilical artery, inferior vesical artery from the anterior of the internal iliac, 
venous drainage, the vesicle veins form plexus on each inferolateral surface, then drain into internal LNG. Nerve supply, autonomic, sympathetic from T11 and T12, L1 and T2 spinal segment, inhibitory to the muscle of the wall and the mode of the sphincter to prevent urination. Parasympathetic, pelvic splanchnic nerve, S234 motor, to the muscle of the wall and inhibit the sphincter to allow urination. Lymphatic drainage to the external area lymph nodes. Anatomy of the urethra, especially in male urethra. More details in male urethra. This is the male urethra. The male urethra is shaped about 20 centimeters. The extension from the internal urethral meatus up to the external urethral meatus. It is formed of four parts. Very small part called the preprostatic part, before the prostate, preprostatic part, which is surrounded by internal urethral sphincter, preprostatic part. And the prostatic part inside the prostate, membranous part present in deep brinal pouch, and the spongy or penile part present in penis. The preprostatic part of the urethra before the prostate, very small part, about centimeter. This preprostatic part is surrounded by smooth muscle fibers, internal urethra sphincter. Contraction of the sphincter prevent retrograde, retrograde movement of the semen into the bladder during ejaculation. During ejaculation of semen in male, contraction of this fiber lower internal restoral sphincter prevent retrograde uh, movement of the semen up. So the semen descend down. The prostatic part. Prostatic part inside the prostate. This is the prostatic part. What is the characters or features of the prostatic part that very important for the student? The, the prostatic part is about three centimeters. About three centimeters. Features, there are elevation, elevation called crest. This elevation called Urethral crest, urethral crest, longitudinal elevation called urethral crest. Also, there are elevation around elevation. This rounded is called seminal colliculus. Seminal colliculus, in which there are opening of the uh, opening of the ejaculatory tract in the seminal colliculus. Also, in between, there are blind opening, blind opening. This blind opening called prostatic utricle. The, remember, the prostatic utricle is the remaining part of paramesonephrid duct which form the female genital system. The remnant of the paramesonephrid duct called prostatic utricle. On the side of the prosthetic crest, there are groove, groove on the side called the prosthetic sinus, containing many opening of prosthetic tubules through which the secretion of the prostate reaches the urethra. Membranous urethra. The membranous urethra, this is a membranous urethra present in the deep brineal pouch, deep brineal pouch. The membranous urethra surrounded by external urethral sphincter, external urethral, remember, the internal urethral sphincter at the neck of the bladder, which is around the preprostatic part, and external urethral sphincter present in the deep brineal pouch surrounding the membranous urethra. This is a membranous rest about two centimeters, present in the deep renal pouch. 
and surrounded by external urethral sphincter. Spongy or benign urethra. Spongy or benign urethra. This is a spongy or benign urethra present in the corpus spinosum of the penis. It begins by dilatation here. And also, there are another dilatation at the termination called the navicular fossa. Called the navicular fossa. This is benign urethra about 15 centimeters. A length about 15 centimeters extend from the end of membranous urethra. It present in the corpus spinosum of the penis. Characters of the sponge or brain urethra, it has at the beginning called intrapalpar fossa. This is intrapalpar fossa at the beginning, and also dilatation at the end called the navicular fossa. With dilatation at the termination called the navicular fossa. Sphincter of the urethra. There are two sphincter of the urethra. Internal urethral sphincter and external urethral sphincter. Internal urethral sphincter, it is a circular smooth muscle that surrounds the neck or the, or the preprostatic part of the urethra. It is involuntary supplied by autonomic fibers. External urethral sphincter form two parts. Superior fibers surround the bladder neck and has element with, within the prostate. Inferior fibers are attached to the inner surface of the inferior pubic cremas this allows the membranous urethra. The action of the sphincter urethra, when the bladder contains urine, it compresses the urethra. During the micturation, it relaxes. However, it contracts to expel the, the last drops of urine or semen from the urethra. Female urethra, about one and a half inch, four centimeter. It corresponds to the prostatic urethra of the male. It corresponds to prostatic urethra in male. From the internal urethral meatus beginning and descend and embedded in the anterior wall of the vagina to open in the vestibule of the vagina below and behind the clitoris, below and behind the clitoris in female. 